Okay, let's have a quick look here at how eggs are formed in females. And um, and I think to look at ha how th these gametes are formed, it's best to have a look at the stages of meiosis in, in both sperm and eggs. So to start off with here, we see the stages of meiosis at first cell, uh, cell division of meiosis, followed by meiosis to that second division, that mitotic division. And we end up with uh, four sperm cells. Each of them ha are haploid and each of them ha uh, are fully functional and have a complete set of chromosomes. Now let's have a look in females and this isn't exactly the same thing that happens. And we still go through our meiotic divisions. We have meiosis 1, the reduction division, and meiosis 2. Um, but what happens is that as we do these divisions, not all the cells will be functional. And if we have a look at the resulting daughter cells from meiosis 1, we see that one's a lot bigger than the other. And what's happening there is all the cytoplasm is getting squeezed into one cell. And the same thing in meiosis 2. We have three cells on the outside with hardly any cytoplasm at all. And all the cytoplasm is being squeezed into um, that main cell. Now, the interesting thing that, 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 that this means is that... Um, we end up with one functional cell. These three cells around the outside are polar bodies. Yeah, they are all haploid, but these three cells aren't functional cells. Um, the resulting egg cell will come from this, this single cell here. Okay, and if you think about the purpose of an egg cell, it needs a bit of cytoplasm to get going once it comes along. Um, the sperm cells, um, they travel light. They don't have much cytoplasm at all. They're really just a motor with a bit of DNA in the head, and they have to get to the egg cell. When they get there, the egg cell needs to be able to do a few uh, reproductions quite quickly, so it needs quite a bit of cytoplasm. And that cytoplasm is coming from this cell here, from the combined cytoplasm of all those cells. So the interesting application uh, to this is that we think about no cytoplasm is really going to be coming from um, the sperm cells, and you know, they actually even ditch their tails when they they they, they get it get to the egg cell. Um, all the cytoplasm is coming from the mother, and that and that has um, big implications um, when we we start looking at um, the mitochondrial DNA. We start looking at uh, that in terms of genetics in our studies there because all of that, um, those, that mitochondrial DNA and the, the stuff in the cytoplasm is coming from the mother. So it really um, allows us to track the maternal pathways uh, when we're looking at inheritance. Okay, good luck with uh, studying some of these uh, amazing things to do with meiosis.